Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm going to give you a quick run through of everything we did today. And I mean, I'm going to be moving quick. So first off, we talked about our concepts, progress. The progress that people have made have uh, inspired people to actually come and, and discuss different types of governments because as people change, the governments must change also. We've also got empiricism versus rationalism. Remember, empiricism is the belief that people uh, use their senses and experiences in order. Let's, hold on, right here, right here. People use their experiences... Um, and, and senses in order to gain knowledge. Rationalists believe that uh, people, instead of using their senses, they, they can't trust their senses. They use their mind alone. So these two must come to a common agreement in order to create new types of government. Next one, we got liberty. Remember, liberty means freedom. There's liberty. Liberty means freedom. Remember, liberty inspires the creation of new governments because um, people hold the power. People give the power to the government. Our next one, religious tolerance, freedom of religion, Voltaire's major concept. Freedom of religion believes that um, people should have the freedom in order to choose whatever religion they want to use. And at the same time, that's going to prevent religious warfare. Next one we got, skepticism. Skeptics, uh, questioning the power and authority of the kings and queens. Um, they believe that um, they should figure out the best form of governments by using science and science alone. Last but not least, we've got reason. Remember, rational thought. you taking all your options, considering those options, and making the best possible decision. This is what your Enlightenment philosophers did. This is the major concepts of the Enlightened philosophers. Uh, look forward to seeing you tomorrow.